In this session, let us learn three more topics to analyze data. They are multiple operations, goal seek, and using the solver tool. Multiple operations is a planning tool for what if questions. To use this, we need two arrays of cells. The first array contains the original or default values and the formulas applied to them. These formulas have to be in a range of cells. There has to be a continuity. The second array is the formula array. It is created by entering a list of alternate values for one or more of the original values. Upon using multiple operation tools, the second array is filled with the results. Let us understand this with examples. First, let us calculate with one formula and one variable. Now the question goes, let's say you produce toys for rupees 10. Each toy costs rupees 2 to make in addition to the fixed cost of 10,000 per year. How much profit will you make in a year if you sell a particular number of toys? So I'm writing the selling price which is 10 cost price which is 2 and the fixed cost which is 10,000. The number of items sold is assumed to be a variable 2,000 and the profit is calculated as items sold multiplied by selling price minus cost price minus the fixed costs. So you can see the formula applied there B7 multiplied by B4 minus B5 minus b6 now i am taking the variables for items sold which is ranging from 500 to 5000 vertically and horizontally now i am selecting the vertical set of data along with another set of columns and clicking on data multiple operations i am clicking on formula and choosing the formula that i have applied now I am going to click on column input cell as these are two columns or vertical values that I have taken. So the variable would be the number of items sold for the column input cell. Now you can see the results getting displayed. Now you can cross check for the value 2000, the profit is 6000. Now we can do this for the horizontal set of values. I am clicking on data and multiple operation. This time the formula is the same. Instead of column input cell, I am selecting row input cell. As these are horizontal bars that I am selecting, the horizontal set of cells. Now you can see the values reflecting and you can cross check the same. Now, let us see multiple operations using two formulas. So, the same question is taken. All the other information remain the same. I am including one more cell which includes the profit per item. So, the profit per item can be calculated as profit divided by the number of items sold. In this, we are going to select the variable which is the items along with two more columns and choose data and multiple operations. Now the formula is a continuous range of cells which is the profit and the profit per item sold and now we have the column input which is the number of items sold which is a variable. Now you can see the result getting displayed there and here we have applied two formulas you can cross check for 2000 items sold. So this is multiple operations with two formulas. Finally, we can see how multiple operations can be used by using two different variables. Let us take the same example. We are also going to vary the selling price along with the number of items sold. So I am writing the selling price on the top row and taking the variables vertically and going to use the formula to see what would be the profit 
if I sell an item at 8 rupees per unit, 10 rupees per unit, 15 rupees per unit and 20 rupees per unit. So I am going to select the entire range of sales and click on data and multiple operations. This time the profit formula is taken and the row input cell is going to be the selling price we have put it and the column input cell is going to be the number of items sold. The moment we click on OK, we can see how much profit we will be getting if we sell it at a particular rate. And the number of items sold is also kept as a variable. If we sell suppose 2000 units for 20 rupees, the profit will be 26,000 per year. So this way we can do it for two variables. The second topic that we are going to learn today is Goal Seek. Using Tools and Goal Seek, we can discover what values will produce the result that we want. Simply to say, we know the target value or the final value, but what could be the possible input values that we need to give in order to achieve this. Here, only one argument can be altered in goal seek, we cannot have more than one argument. Let us see this with an example. We can calculate simple interest using the formula capital into number of years into rate of interest divided by 100. I have put it across in rows and columns as you can see. So we can choose the formula cell, set a target value and do a goal seek. So I am going to click on the option tools and goal seek. Choose the formula cell which is the one that has the formula E7. In this example let the target value be 15,000 instead of 7,500. I am going to vary the capital and click OK. You see the message goal seek successful insert 2 lakhs into the cell. So click on yes. Now I am going to undo this. Let me click on tools and goal seek. The formula cell has to be selected first and then I have to keep the target value as the same value suppose 15,000. Now let me change the variable cell as number of years and click OK. Now for 15,000 the result is insert to 2 in the cell. So if I take the number of years as 2, I will get the annual interest as 15,000. Now let me undo and try to change the rate of interest. I am clicking on tools and goal seek. Take the formula cell and keep the target value as 15,000 itself. Now the variable cell is going to be 7.5 or the rate of interest. Click on OK. It's, a, it's giving the message whether to insert 15 into the cell. So this way we can easily discover what values will produce the result that we are looking for. The third and the final topic that we are going to learn today is Tools Solver. This is an elaborate form of Goal Seek. The difference between Goal Seek and Solver is that Solver deals with equations with multiple unknown variables, whereas in Goal Seek, we can use it only on one argument. This will maximize or minimize the result according to a set of rules that we define. And just with a click of a button, it will begin to automate the process of adjusting the values and giving the desired results. Let's understand this with a very, very interesting example. Let me assume an amount of 10,000 has to be invested in two mutual funds X and Y for a period of one year. X is a low risk mutual fund with 8% interest rate and Y is a high risk mutual fund with 12% interest rate. How much do we need to invest in order to earn a total of 1000 rupees? So I have put it beforehand in particular table 
fund x fund y what is the interest earned amount invested so i am entering the total as 10000 first and entering the rate of interest which is 8 and 1 year for fund x and 12 and 1 year for fund y the interest earned is calculated as amount invested into rate of interest into time period divided by 100 the same way we repeat the formula for fund y by selecting the respective cells now once this is done the total will be the sum of these two interest earned which has to be 1000 as per the question now here in fund x what is the amount invested in fund y what is the amount invested so i am taking one of the cells say fund y and taking it as 10000 minus the amount invested in fund x now we are ready to go i am going to click on tools and solver to solve this particular problem i am clicking on tools and solver the target cell is the total value which has to be 1000 so i am selecting it with a value of say 1000 by changing the cells of C4 which is the amount invested for fund X and I am going to limit it with the condition where the value is greater than or equal to 0 and now let me click on solve. Now we see that the calculation has happened and the results are seen here. So if I invest 5000 rupees in each mutual fund at a different interest rate for a period of one year i get different interest and the sum of it is equal to thousand rupees so this way we can make use of tools and solver so the three topics that we had learned to analyze data are multiple operations goal seek and using the solver i hope you have understood these concepts clearly today Please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.